Hello guys, it's Ben here from Next Gen Base, and uh, we're going to go through some uh, performance comparisons between the Xbox Series X and the original Xbox One. Uh, we're talking, you know, the original kind of BCR style unit of Xbox One. Um, as at the moment, that's all I've got to hand. Uh, our Series S is currently in the hands of Johnny, who's doing some of the testing and some gameplay and stuff and getting used to the system. So, um,. Yeah, I was kind of interested in this one because obviously, you know, it's a kind of, they're both launch period consoles, so the Xbox One uh, notoriously struggled with quite a lot of titles, so I felt right to kind of go through how it performed against the Xbox Series X uh, in some relatively modern titles, you know, obviously there's a couple that are not quite so modern, but we'll come to those in a minute, but... Um, this gives you an example first off of Gears 5 uh, and the differences in quality between the, the Xbox One and the Series X. Um, I've tried to colour match them as best I possibly can. I have have done a little bit of tweaking of the colours, but on the whole, the Series X with its HDR presentation uh, just looks phenomenal. Like The detail is incredible. If you look on the armour um, and you look in the in the world, particularly kind of as the helicopter goes to land um, in this, in this uh, sequence, you can see that there's a hell of a lot more detail in the trees, in the ground, pretty much everything um, but the main thing that you can see is essentially that performance so the Series X is locked at 60 frames a second for the absolute majority of the time there are very very occasional dips into uh, literally 59 seconds as opposed to 60, uh, 59 frames a second sorry as opposed to 60 frames a second uh, but on the whole you know it is that locked 60 frames per second um, the Xbox one surprisingly holds up i mean i was i was expecting this to run really really badly but you know on the whole it's it it surprised me um obviously there are a lot of visual uh, cutbacks a bit, lot of visual sacrifices that you've got to make to to get to that running at 30 frames a second but if we move into gameplay here on the xbox one uh, you can see that gears is running at a Pretty, you know, pretty locked, pretty solid 30 frames a second, um, but that is again due to the cutbacks in the resolution and the visual quality. Um, there's not a huge amount to kind of report really on the on the Xbox One, other than as I say, just how surprised I was that it ran. Uh, obviously, there are a lot of lighting effects on the Series X that aren't present on the Xbox One. Uh, higher quality textures, higher quality rendering, um, essentially everything you'd expect from the Series X is, is a lot higher quality than it is on that base console. Um, quite a large frame skip there um, as, you know, as, as uh, JD runs through the corridor. Um, that's something that's mostly you know eliminated on the Series X, um, but on the whole, like the Xbox One kind of does an admirable job if you're you know, not looking for all the bells and whistles of the Series X. But when we move into the Series X gameplay, you can immediately see that, you know, everything looks a hell of a lot sharper, it looks a hell of a lot smoother. That is because it is that beautiful 4K, a beautiful 60 frames a second that the Coalition have managed to deliver. Um, but you can see there, there are still just a couple of, you know, little frame skips. There's nothing major, it's nothing, you know, game breaking, but it's just every so often you'll just get that tiny little hitch, which you can definitely notice. Um, you can almost you can definitely feel it. Um, it's not, as I say, it's not game breaking, it's not major, but it's it's an odd one to have, uh, particularly with the power of the uh, of the Series X. But yeah, on the whole, um, Gears 5, uh, I've not played a huge amount of it on this new console, but it runs really, really well. Okay, the next title is Sea of Thieves. Now, this is essentially a um, a test that I wanted to do uh, just to see what the loading times were like. So, obviously, in the inset there, you've got the uh, the Xbox One. I wanted to keep the Series X in the main picture because, understandably, that gets to gameplay first. So, I wanted to kind of keep that, you know, in the forefront. But um, yeah, on the whole, again, you know, the Xbox One, you can just see the textures popping in there on the uh, on the main. On my character's clothing um, the series x immediately loads all of that stuff and there you go you can see 25 seconds in and we are loaded on the series x we are ready to go ready to be a pirate you know kind of jump into your uh, jump into your ship do all of the piratey stuff sing sea shanties you know go and stab some skeletons and all the rest of it um but meanwhile the xbox one is still plugging away uh 
45 seconds now so it's um It's an amazing experience the first time that you boot it up. I mean, we had uh, we had a multiplayer stream the other night where Andy was still on a 1S, so he was actually having these load times, and you know, me and Johnny were, were well into the game because we've got a Series X and a Series S between us, so um, it was just uh, you know lightning fast uh, load times to get into the game. So if you weren't prattling around on the island, you'd actually be able to get into your ship really quickly, and if you were that kind of a player, you could probably jump into your ship and just disappear before anybody, uh, you know, even bothers to find you. But um, on the whole, like, yeah, I, I, I can't really fault this presentation. Um, it looks gorgeous. Again, I think this is, you know, running at a native 4K at a solid 60 frames a second, which, you know, we'll have a look at in a second. But... Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's just beautiful. Um, I played this game on PC quite a lot when it came out because I wasn't overly enamoured with, with how it looked on the Xbox One, so played it an awful lot on my PC. Um, and finally, it looks like we're about to load. There we go. We have loaded on the Xbox One after 1 minute and 48 seconds. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's phenomenally quick on the Series X, and indeed the Series S, but, you know, um, this is about the Series X here, so... Um, moving into the performance, again, you can see we've just got a locked, solid 60 frames a second on the Series X. Um, the only time I've ever experienced anything that could be slightly considered a frame dip is is when I've you know had a lot going on on screen and it's, it's maybe dropped to the extremely high 50s. It's not noticeable at all. It's only when I did the analysis and looked back on it that I thought, oh, you know, it might have dropped there. But yeah, on the whole, 60 frames a second and it just looks absolutely stunning if you've got an hdr tv get on this but um moving into the xbox one you can see here we're you know back at 30 frames a second and the texture work is a bit dodgy um it it just doesn't look that great um you can see why i kind of went from this to the pc but the water doesn't look amazing that you know the the the, uh, the wheel doesn't look amazing the compass doesn't look amazing um when you look at the anchor, the anchor point as well, that's just a bit dodgy, and it just looks really grungy in comparison. Like you know, there's no, it doesn't pop like it does on the uh, on the Series X. But uh, let's see if thieves. Next up, we've got uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Now, this is one that didn't really run all that well uh, at first on the Xbox One. Uh, we tried, we had this in for review, um, and it was recommended essentially that you play it on PC, uh, which we did. And, you know, they said if you've got a Series S, sorry, if you've got a One S or a One X, give it a go on there, but uh, it might struggle to run on the original Xbox One. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it runs fine now. Uh, it runs more or less at that solid 60 frames a second. You can see that line there. But the resolution is incredibly you know, low compared to what we're about to see in a second. Um, once again, it just looks a little bit fuzzy like you know there's not a huge amount going on um i don't have at the minute the uh, the ability to pixel count so can't give you a, a, a native resolution or you know an, an example there but on the whole um again it, it runs fairly well um it just kind of doesn't look amazing while doing so um the the frame skips there i think might be due to um the game kind of holding the screen for a second when the um when the strikes hit so you know when, when you when you hit an enemy it kind of just pauses for a very brief second and it, it acts as if it's a frame drop but that doesn't happen on the uh, on the series x which we're seeing now um that is again you know 4k uh, this is actually i think in the 6k mode which is down sampled to 4k so it just looks absolutely gorgeous um this is one of my favorite games of the year it's just incredibly beautiful um the colors are so vibrant in it and i've you know got all the love in the world for ori uh, and the will of the wisps i think i'm probably gonna go back and replay this on the series x because i've got one of those lgc 10 tvs that you know can in theory do 4k 120 so i might give that a go um because it looks stunning it really does um so that's ori and the will of the wisps Next up uh, is Forza Horizon 4. Now this is uh, this is another game that I went to on PC because um, it was just better for me to play it on PC. You know, I could get to higher frame rates and resolutions than I had on the Xbox One. Um, but 
again, it looks surprisingly okay. You know, again, with, with a relatively low resolution compared to what we're about to see, um, things don't look amazing, but it runs and it holds that 30 frames per second uh, that you kind of almost expect from an Xbox One um, at this point in time. So it's uh, it it's solid. It it runs it runs fairly well. Uh, to be honest, but again, this is to see the difference between the Xbox One and the Xbox Series X, uh, which we are about to see as soon as I go over this jump. Definitely didn't cut because uh, I screwed that jump up. Definitely not. But immediately you can see that there's the uh, you know there's that 60 frames a second feel. It looks a hell of a lot smoother. It plays a hell of a lot smoother, and everything just kind of looks really nice. Like. You have the, uh, you know, you've got the reflections in the car, you've got the, you know, obviously the, the previous video was set at night and this is during the day, but on the whole, um, again, it just looks better all round and it plays really well. Um, the level of detail is incredible and just everything running at that 60 frames a second makes Forza on the whole feel really, really nice. So if you've yet to play Forza Horizon 4, um, I would like wholeheartedly recommend that you do so because it's fantastic. Um, obviously it's on Game Pass and you know it looks beautiful. Like, look at that. That is the same jump with a slightly different uh, result. Didn't actually screw that one up. Um, but again, yeah, 60 frames a second. Those walls look amazing when you break them. So uh, next up we've got Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now this is one that I was actually really interested in because um, this doesn't look too bad at the moment. Um, this is running on the Xbox One. Um, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't look like it's running all that badly. But um, I'll explain in just a second because we did put a post up saying that uh, this broke our capture analysis tool, which it kind of did because if you look at this, you can see that the image shifts in sections. So obviously that is screen tearing. And, you know, the long and short of it is that that's screen tearing, but it tears in so many places at so many different points that it almost looks like the screen is kind of waving. Um, and that led to results a bit like this, where it was reporting a much higher frame rate. I mean, obviously, this is saying that it's, you know, 45, 40, about 50 frames per second. And just with the naked eye, you can tell that it isn't. I mean, this is a hell of a lot more um, accurate here when it gets to, you know, like, that locked. 30 frames per second but again the reason that it's getting that level of performance is because they've cut back so much on the visual aspects like you, it's obviously running at a much lower resolution there are some visual um, visual elements that are missing um, or not quite as impressive um, again I think parts of the UI run at a higher resolution um, but again this is where there is more screen tearing going on which reports back in that strange you know high frame rate um, the tool that we use does have tear analysis, so it does, in theory, prov you know, provide that detail back and say this is where the screen is tearing and that is not a new frame, but I think the game just runs that poorly um, in certain places that uh, ultimately it didn't give us a good answer and I think it broke it. So, um, yeah, I mean, that that's uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the original Xbox One. However, when you go into the Series X, um, again, you've got that you know solid line of 60 frames per second. Um, this is the same area, um, you know, this is exactly the same area. So um, it's quite early on in the game. I'll be brutally honest. I've done so much in terms of content creation and capturing stuff. I had very little time to actually sink into a bunch of games. So apologies for this being quite early on in the game, but you know. What can you do? It's not a very busy area. I know it's not the, um, it's not like a combat heavy area or anything like that. But um, I mean, it's it's the best I can get at this point. Um, but yeah, on the whole, it runs really well. Um, I I think the biggest uh, the biggest thing I've had so far in this generation has been playing Assassin's Creed at a relatively steady frame rate, um, and thankfully that frame rate is sixty frames per second. Uh, okay, that is going to do us, guys. Thank you for joining us for this Xbox Series X comparison. Um, hopefully, we're going to have some more. Um, I've got to be honest, I've had a hell of a you know past couple of weeks. We've had a video up every single day. Uh, sometimes we've had a couple, but um, I think might possibly take a, a break for a couple of days and, and not have any videos go up. But at the same time, I know there's a lot of people wanting a lot of content. So subscribe to the channel, get notified when we do, uh, you know, click the bell and all that stuff. Um, and we'll see you next time. All right. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye bye.